First, I'm taking a gel liner. This is Still Glamorous Cosmetics Oceanic Gel Liner and a thin eyeliner brush. These are my favorite to work with. Get some product on the brush and I'm going to start off by lining my top lash line just in the middle. Basically line the top lash line and then this brush is small enough, it's great, I love it. It gets in the inner corners perfectly. And continue down to the outer corner. This is very important. I'm drawing a line upward towards my brow, um, towards the end of my brow. And then from that little line that I drew, I'm gonna start there and stroke the brush inward. And again, I apologize about the blurriness, guys. Pick up a little bit more product and kind of fill in your wing. Up since my heart is inside of your hands, I expect you to always know what I And if you want to make the line thicker, just start from that top point again and bring the brush inward. You don't want to mess with below that wing. Now, to ex make my eyes look longer, I like to fill in lightly the inner corner, like around the tear duct of my eye, and this gives more of an exotic look. Um, if you mess up by any chance, you got too, you know, thick of a wing, or you just mess up like that. Um, take a Q-tip with makeup remover and start from the lower lash line and go up with the Q-tip and then go from your crease and downward to kind of reshape it. Say a couple of words for me, yeah. Dedicate this to my boyfriend, tell him that I'm going Next, I'm taking Mythology from Still Glamorous Cosmetics, which is a pencil, creamy, waterproof pencil. And I love waterproof pencils and I love creamy pencils, so this is one of my favorites. Basically, I'm lining the top lash line from the inner corner to the outer corner. Next, I'm going to take an angled eyeliner brush and pick up the product from the pencil. And I'm going to lay this just against the outer corner shaping my wing with the actual brush so I'm actually I'm still using pencil I'm just using the brush to apply it and it's creamy enough to where um, it goes on really really smooth and nice and you can do this with any pencil as long as it's you know creamy enough and I'm going to use this to define my inner corners and I use my pinky to smudge out the top lash line and then I also go back in to elongate my eyes at the tear ducts so I'm basically using the angle of the brush to create the wing I'm taking Revlon color stay liquid liner shake it and lay the felt tip against your lash line, making small strokes. And again, I start in the middle and I bring it to where the tear duct is. So, making small strokes and I also go around the tear duct a little to elongate my eye. And then I'm going to go up, pointing towards the end of my brow, starting back at the tip and bringing it inward. And any hollowness you have, just go ahead and fill it in. Using the tip of this felt 
tip applicator makes short strokes going outward. Very Use a very light hand and always bring it, if you want to make it thicker, bring it inward from the top of the wing into the middle of your eye. And that's it. I like going over with the second coat with liquid. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. So good. So good.